What I'd like to talk about now is score layout with regard to computer programs. This is Finale, and in Finale, as in all the programs, you have options for score layout, page layout, part layout, and we'll get into those a little more specifically in other videos. But in this one, I just want to show how bars can be too tight or too widely spaced. As you can see on this page, the music isn't extremely tight, so the bar layout looks really clear and easy to understand from a distance as a conductor. You can see the phrases, you can see where the timings are, you can see the meterings, you can see the bar numbers very clearly. Here's another good example of phrasing your score, where on this page the end of the phrase happens here, and the next page the beginning of the phrase is here. It's mostly about phrasing the music at this point. As we get on down into the score a little further, you'll notice the notes get significantly tighter because of the 16th note, 8th note values. If I were to put this page over here, this would obviously be way too tight to really be appropriate and easy to read. By the same token, if I was to put the same page in a wider spacing, this would look a little strange as well in that it isn't phrased musically and the bars are now so widely spaced that when you get to the next page, it looks too tight. So use appropriate judgment musically so that when you're working on your scores, you lay them out so that they flow with the musical direction. The pages are phrased as best you can with regard to the density of the notes.